Morning guys, welcome to uh, Tuesday morning. Um, just had our first job for the morning. It's at Harrington Park, a small residential job. Um, it's 14 degrees at the moment, so it's a little bit chilly. Um, for a, you know, summer's morning. Beautiful area, lovely uh, pin oak tree. So let's get started. All right, so we've gone through and uh, got all the edging done. So we're just about to uh, mow this one with the uh, Time Master. It's about quarter past seven. Okay guys, second job, uh, nature strip. Blade edged it. Just got the whippy out. It's pretty tall. Okay, we've got it all line trimmed now. We've got the edges done around the trees here just go and grab the blower blow all this stuff that's in the gutter up onto the lawn and then we'll suck it up and mow the lawn with the uh, time master it's all about processes systems and processes that's all it is When you're trimming conifers or trimming anything, just be really careful of um, power cords. So you just gotta move those out of the way. I've still got a customer who owes me um, $500 for um, for claiming that I damaged his uh, lighting, low voltage lighting cable from trim trimming hedges, but uh, everyone eventually pays. So we're just going to trim these conifers up at the next job. Done the front lawn. We've just got the tarp out, so we're just going to trim and just collect any trimmings just in the tarp. And we'll move the tarp around from tree to tree as we're trimming. I'll, um, I'll get the gorilla ladder out in a minute and I'll just work on the face of this one first and then we'll, we'll work on the top. Okay, just working our way around these hedges here. Just working on this one now just got the tarp underneath it um, just light light trimming you only want to lightly touch up these just put a bit of shape into them and you know you don't want to go too hard see where the light doesn't the light doesn't get to them just at the back here so they're all bare so you just want to with conifers, you know, I've mentioned before, you can't trim them back too hard. You've just got to go softly, softly. Just trimming the tops of these and see how this second one along, see how that just dips up a bit at the, on the left hand side. So we're going to have to go back to that one. Just further up, just kicks up, just kicks up that second one along. We've just got to go and fix that now. Still wants a little bit more taken off it. So that second one across still needs a little bit more off it. See that? You just gotta keep working the hedge, just take your time with it and get it right. You don't wanna rush it, just take your time. Get it perfect. Okay guys, just set our next um, next job. It's a uh, cylinder mowing job, this one. Um, it's quite enjoyable. Do enjoy the cylinder mowing ones. So we'll just get out the whippy and do the whipper snipping first. 
All right, so this is my uh, cylinder, my uh, Scott Bonner. Um, reasonably old cylinder mower. It's um, got an old Briggs and Stratton engine on it. This one's a 17 inch twin rail. So it's got two rails across the top of it. We'll get it out and have a closer look. Okay, so this is um, my cylinder mower. It's a twin rail um, Scott Bonner. It's got a uh, real mower, a cylinder. So it's got a bottom blade, uh, bed knife, and then these sections here, these blades spin and just cut, cut on that bottom blade there like a scissor action, so it's a different type of cut. It's got a new uh, front roller on it. Um, it's got a Briggs & Stratton three horsepower uh, engine. It's all, all original, this mower. Uh, some people res restore them. They spend a lot of money and a lot of time uh, restoring them. They come up really nice. Um, these are a really good mower. Uh, good solid unit. Um, there are new ones, Proteas, that you can buy. Um, very similar to the Scott Bonner design. Um, at one stage I was looking at getting a new one. Uh, I may still do that. I've got another 20 inch that I'm waiting on for an engine to arrive just through uh, MacArthur mowers. So I've been waiting a few months now, um, just due to COVID, everything's slow. Um, I think we've been waiting about two or three months maybe for a, a new engine. Um, but hopefully one arrives soon, maybe before Christmas and we can start to use the new, the 20 inch one that I've restored. Uh, it'll just make the work a little bit more quick and efficient and you get a wider, wider cut. So that's the, um, the Scott Bonner. Something a little bit different. It's a different uh, type of mower. It's a different type of cut. Um, I actually quite like, I like using it. It's, um, it's good fun. When you're uh, mowing a cylinder, mowing cylinder lawn, you've just got this edge plate here. So always go around clockwise, around the edge. So do an, an outline around your edges. You're gonna be able to get close to it with this side here. This side here, you've got the chain guard and everything like that and it, you know you can't get close up to the edges so you want to start off doing a um, a run around clockwise around your uh, your garden beds. Mm, Alright guys just at our next one just over at Oran Park. Uh, a lot of tight housing in here, not very big block sizes but uh, if you can line a few up at once in the one street you can make it um, reasonably profitable. One of the other things I like to do is just um, go around and just do a little bit of spot spraying just in the uh, cracks in the and in the garden bed just give it a little spot spray. It's um, just a little detail thing. It's always nice to to do. Doesn't take much. Just got to be careful not to uh, spray any, any of the plants or any of the grass because it's um, it'll kill kill anything. So you just got to be a little a little bit careful with it. Just at our uh, next one now, just on the uh, edges, uh, just all line trimming, just gone around and done all the uh, trimming. It's another small one at um, Oran Park. So we do a bit of um, insurance work as well. So from time to time, you may have someone um, call you up from, a, um, from an insurance company and um, just ask you to provide a quotation for, um, for ongoing garden maintenance and lawn care. Um, probably about 15 to 20% of our work is um, insurance, insurance work for various insurance companies. So, um, and also care, care providers. So there's a number of them out there um, that we do work for. Uh, 
Um, and the majority of them are quite good to work for. Um, some are a little bit slower than paying than others, but um, generally, uh, if you uh, if you stick to stick to their payment, um, yeah, their program, get your invoices in. Um, you're normally normally quite okay. Just out on site, just having a look at a um, a job. Just a quote. Just having a look at some. Um, Looks like it might have been top dress material. It's just quite sandy and and rocky. So um, normally, like a dirty sand is better. It just gets quite quite rocky. Um, so a nice 80/20 mix would be perfect for this. Okay, just at our next one for the evening. Um, just a um, residential lawn. Uh, we'll mow this with the grandstand. Start on the edges and get it uh, get it all tidy up. It's got a bit of length to it, but it'll uh, it'll tidy up quite nicely. Tell you what, when you're sort of lifting these ramps up and down all day, they get quite heavy. So I'm really looking forward to that uh, gorilla lift system uh, being delivered. I think it's going to, once I install that, it's going to make it a lot lot easier and a lot, um, you know, a lot user-friendly. Just, just easier to lift those gates up and down. I think it would be perfect. So finished on the uh, grandstand for the minute on a um, property like this if it's a little bit tall I'll go around and mow it first then I'll go around the and do the edges so I'm just going around doing the edges now whatever I can get on the grandstand and then I'll go around on the grandstand just around the edges and mulch up the uh, long stuff it's just the way I do it I find it easier that way quicker and easier um, you might be different, but that's the way um, that's the way I attack or approach a, um, a lawn that is um, starts off reasonably tall. You just go through and mow it, and then do the edges, and then go around on the grandstand and just uh, mulch those long pieces up, and then give it a good blowdown and job done. So that's how this one turned out, guys. About half an hour, 40 minutes didn't take long but um, it's just the process just weed sprayed all this stuff just poisoned all this weeds in the gar in the uh, footpath so that'll die off that'll be all dead next visit okay just at the uh, next one guys same deal just everything we'll do with the uh, grandstand go around do all the, uh, the mowing then we'll go and do the um, Whipper snipping and flat trimming. There's some sections here that need a bit of flat trimming with the whipper snipper. Got to give this one a good blowdown now. There's a lot of flat trimming. A lot of flat trimming involved in this one. It's a, um, a lot of citrus. A lot of citrus up the back there. The trees. Whipper snipping under the trees. There's a lot of detail work in that one. Just had time for, uh, you know, just sort of duck in and have a quick. Um, haven't tried these ones before. The banana choc chip muffins and uh just a coffee just down at the local uh caltex um sometimes it's nice just to have a quick little little break and um just have a uh have a little muffin break all right just at the uh next job um i don't think we're going to be doing this one guys i think we'll um i think we might pass on this one and just move on to the next one Okay, just finished this one off. I uh, didn't didn't film it. It's just a front front yard. 
a rather large front front lawn um, perfect for the grandstand perfect job needs a bit of weed spraying but uh, put some fertilizer down the other day um, probably about a week ago and maybe a little bit longer than a week ago maybe a fortnight ago so just going to give this one a good weed spray in the next next few days we're just giving it a cut so we'll just let the weeds a little bit of leaf on the weeds grow back and then we'll um we'll give it a spray so nice old um oak tree so it's um just in camden south here nice uh, quiet street good uh good area so we'll just head up around the corner just head over to our um our next job just another residential okay this is the uh just the backyard of this one here it's tidied up quite nicely we'll just grab the blower and blow that back patio off this is the access it's got the air conditioner on the blind side of the house pretty tight access these days with um Homes being built close to each other. Just going to scoop past this bin. So we're just going to mow this front lawn. Let's get this small lawn done. And we'll blow off and we'll be done. Okay, this is the uh, last one for the evening. Just a um, front backyard just gonna uh, just give it a quick quick mow and tidy up and then uh, we'll call it a day okay that's how this one uh, turned up came out pretty nice actually I'm really I am quite happy with that um, time master um, sorry not the time master it's been a long day the um, grandstand the 48 inch grandstand just so productive and cut is perfect. Like I can't, can't can't complain about the cut quality or you know, just makes most lawns look look awesome. So exactly what you want in a mower. It's great. Okay, guys. So I'm just back in the office um, after a big day. Just having a bit of a rethink about the um the structure of the videos and how we're sort of working them i just want to get a bit of feedback as to how we should look at running the videos like i just think it feels a little bit sort of rushed maybe or a little bit confusing because when i go to so many different sites during the day like it's just start stop stop you know you're all it's a little bit all over the place, but I just wanted to get a bit of a feel for how you guys um, want to see the videos roll out, whether you just want to see one site in detail or you want to see the entire day or you just want some some hints and tips. But um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky. I'm only new at this, so I just want to try and get it um, so it suits the uh the audience um so any feedback or anything like that is fantastic um just let me know because i sort of get when i'm putting the videos together i kind of feel like it seems very fast paced and it's pretty rushed like it's start stop start you know we're we're at all these different sites during the day and it's a little bit hard to keep up um so just let me know, guys. I, I do appreciate everyone watching. Um, and I hope you are enjoying them. And, yeah, just give me some feedback and let me know what you think because, you know, well, I do appreciate it. So once again, thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the, uh, the videos. And I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Have a great night. Catch ya. And this is um, Scott Bonner Restorations t-shirt. So 
check them out on Instagram and on Facebook. Catch you later.